Hello, my name is Ashley, and I'm here with step one of Welcome to Scratch. I'm so excited to introduce you to this popular and creative programming language. Before diving in, let me share a little bit about myself. For a quick visual description, I have long brown hair, tan skin, and brown eyes. In the background, there is a tan wall with a blanket ladder that I actually built myself. It showcases some of my favorite blankets. All right, let's get started. In this step, we'll explain the basic features of Scratch as a programming language and describe the uses of Scratch in the real world. Scratch was developed with the goal of teaching young people how to code. Led by Mitch Resnick, folks at the Lifelong Kindergarten Group at MIT Media Lab spearheaded the project in collaboration with many others. In 2007, the first Scratch editor launched. Fast forward to 2019, and now you can access Scratch in the browser it's translated to over 70 languages, like Spanish, Arabic, and more, and it's easy to share your work with anyone in the world. So, what is it? Scratch is a block-based programming language designed to have low floors, high ceilings, and wide walls. What does that even mean, though? Let's check out some of the basic features of Scratch. It's block-based, meaning that you can move graphics of blocks around rather than typing out text. This means you get to avoid a lot of errors that pop up when you don't know all of the syntax or the rules of a programming language. It has low floors, meaning it's easy to get started. All of the blocks you will ever need are in the code blocks area. All you have to do is drag them out and connect them together. There are even images, sounds, and more included that you can use in your programs. It has high ceilings, meaning you can write very complex programs if you want. You can even create your own blocks. It has wide walls, meaning that it allows you to create all sorts of projects from games to interactive art to animations and more. Now let's talk Scratch IRL. Where is this used in the real world? Scratch is used in programming classes around the globe, from K-12 to university to museums and libraries and art centers. It has made a huge impact on making CS education accessible to both students and teachers. It's a great beginner programming language and there are a ton of resources for it. Folks use Scratch to express themselves in all sorts of ways. A lot of people use Scratch for creative coding. By that, we mean building projects with code that focus on self-expression instead of functionality. Check out the documentation section below for links to some project examples. Even more than a programming language, Scratch is a community. Since it's online, it's easy to share your projects, find inspiration, and ask for support. That's it for step one. In the next step, we'll dive into Scratch and set you up with an account.